Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the dream sheet. So let's start off with what a dream sheet is. It's a list of bases that you prefer to be stationed at. You do fill out a dream sheet in BMT, but it's totally different than the one that you actually fill out in tech school. As soon as you get to tech school, everyone's going to tell you to do it again. And when you get to tech school, make sure you fill out this dream sheet on the Air Force portal right when you can, right when you get there, because you are going to find out your assignment pretty quickly. I found out about 30 days into tech school where my first assignment would be, so make sure that you fill this out accurately and as soon as possible. There are going to be two separate sections. One is going to be for stateside and one is going to be for overseas. There are eight slots for each list and this is very important. It is going to give you a list of every single base for every single job. So during BMT, you were given an opportunity to look at the specific bases that your AFSC goes to, you should have wrote them down, you should have made a list or at least a mental note of all the bases that you are interested in putting on your dream sheet. Because if you put down bases on your dream sheet that your job doesn't go to, you're wasting your dream sheet. If you absolutely do not want to go overseas, leave it blank. If you absolutely do not want to stay stateside, leave it blank. So as far as actually getting something on your dream sheet, yes, it's possible. There are people in my tech school who got their first choice and there are some people like me who don't get anything on their dream sheet at all. For me personally, I did get stationed on the coast that I wanted. So all of the bases that I listed were on the same coast and I do recommend doing that if you'd like to stay within a certain geographical area. Like if you just want the Midwest, just put Midwest bases. If you just want the East Coast, just put East Coast bases and so on. If you know that you'd rather stay in the United States and you do put bases all over the country, just all spread out, then they're just going to assume that you don't mind going anywhere in the United States. And if that's true, okay, but if there's a certain area that you'd like to stay within, then make sure the bases you list are all within that area. So some people wonder, why can't we just have the base that we want? Or what is the point of filling out this dream sheet? The point is that they're at least going to try. They're at least going to take your preferences into consideration, but you may not always get your number one choice or you may not get something on your list at all because overall it's going to be based on the needs of the Air Force at that current time. Like I said, we did find out our first assignment within about 30 days of being at tech school and this is also important, we were allowed to switch with someone if we wanted to. Say you really wanted overseas and someone else got it and you have a stateside base and they really wanted stateside, you can do that. We were able to switch. So we were allowed to switch with someone within a certain time frame and also if that person's graduation date was close to ours. So they didn't even necessarily have to be in our own class as long as they were close to our graduation date. I asked you guys to send me questions on Instagram, so hopefully this answers them. As always, I hope it was helpful. One question that I'm not able to answer because I don't have any dependents and I'm not married, someone asked me, how does the dream sheet work for mill to mill? So if anyone is able to answer that in the comments, feel free. That's something I have no experience with, so I'm not even gonna try to speak on it. But other than that, I hope I answered all of your guys' questions. If not, feel free to leave them in the comments, or as always, feel free to message me on Instagram at Brittany L. Willis. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.